Okay, we're taking a train from Christ Kirk, uh, Church to uh, Queenstown area, or Arthur's Pass. And this is outside. Pretty neat. That's some kind of river. That's a dry patch in the middle. SUV. Yeah, from the back in all of these, like five pairs of boots and uh, and. Uh, Here we are at the Prince Joseph. Fleischer. It's way up there in the corner. Just come down a lot lower, but things change. You walk along with us. You can stay here. You can walk back to the coach. <laughs> uh, either way, uh, we will. If we're going to walk down, yes, we do have to walk back up again. All right, so if you're going to get another vantage point, but that's about as far as we're going to go to get the closest to the glass that we can. Okay? Waterfalls, well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's a lot of them here. Glacier's back over there. Yes. Oh my gosh, it was so fun. Waterfalls, well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's a lot of them here. Glacier's back over there. This is the Fox Glacier. It's cold out here. I'm going to ask you to do me a favor. Can yes, you take a picture absolutely. of me? Oh, yeah. Num, num, num. Either way, it'll take the bark off, alright? So while we're travelling on, just keep your bum in your seat. Alright? Mm. While we stop floating around with us, you can move around as much as you want. Mm. Alrighty? Thanks, How many have we got, Marty? 21. Oh, Including yeah. you. So 20 plus one. Yep. Righty ho. Oh, okay. Now, like I say, we're not full today, so if you feel because you're in a tight seat and I'll see you're tall. Mm -hmm. right, so if you were cramped up there, go in. It, it was a pinch, you see. When I put my seat in, yes. I had to poach a little bit of that one and it ended up you missing out. So. <laughs> Righty ho, now to quote my dear old dad, who's actually with me at the moment, he's over at home, uh, and I'm getting him a t shirt made. Um, it's going to say, Where am I? Who are you? Right? So that's the stage he's at at, this, at the moment. Where are we, dad? Bugger if I know you'll say. Um, <laughs> so, to quote Dad, because Dad's a farmer, um, we're off like a dog shot in the bum.
fast to this one. Feet deep, all glacier dug. Lake Kawia. All right, whatever. We're in Arrowtown, about a half hour from Queenstown. A little shopping bonanza down here. <coughs> Is that New Orleans? Hmm. To maybe see We're dolphins, if there are dolphins yeah. around. Penguins. Seals, but you can never tell with nature. They pretty much make up their own. We're at Mirror Lakes. It's somewhere close to Milford Sound. Millions of tourists getting out right here. Take a look at this area. I see some tourists coming. Here's some tourists. <laughs> Smile. Hello, hello, hello. We're approaching Milford Sound where we're going to get on a boat soon. Unbelievable mountains here. Just stop for a little pee stop. They have the uh, United Nations bathrooms here. You uh, Russian in, then European, and then you are finished. Oh, another mountain stop on the way to Milford Sound. We'll take a boat very shortly. Hopefully have lunch. I'm trying to get something to eat. Well, that turn around, turn around. Hello. Tourist, blonde lady. Yep. Yep. They have a coach and a car to go through there together, but uh, two coaches might find them scraping along the top of the tunnel.
Douglas fir pines, an introduced species of pine in this region, um, and the gondola runs up and down that hill over there. You can see Queenstown, where we sort of started off, just down there, far below, and then there's this great big blue wobbly thing behind me. That is Queen, uh, Lake Wakatipu. Now, Wakatipu is a Māori word. Uh, the Māori are the indigenous people of New Zealand, and that m word in their language means hollow of the sleeping giant. Mm. Or it can also mean Valley of the Sleeping Giant. Depends on your translation of the word. Uh, there is an old legend about uh, how the lake got its name, but basically it boils down to the minutes that would ruin the holiday experience. Um, Back into the region, 1859, started a big sheep farm. Came over the Crown Range with 500 sheep. He was actually travelling with another guy called Nicholas von Kunzelman, who kind of sounds like the James Bond villain, really. Uh, he was a Dutch guy though, and they came over here looking for new pastures together, and they discovered they wanted to be basin. William Reese had two sons, Walter and Cecil, so the mountains are named after his two boys, and now they are um, commemorated as mountains, and they get to stand side by side together forever, so that's very noble. Um, over here we have this brown hill, uh, which is called Deer Park. Lucy Sun, something to show the world that it was fun and safe and exciting. So he actually travelled the world and did a number of publicity stunts, jumping from various landmarks and bridges. The fa most famous of which was the Eiffel Tower jump. So back in 88, he went and jumped off the Eiffel Tower. Basically what he did is he climbed up there. Uh, Is that right here? Yeah. Well found. If you're hungry, you can have some. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if the cows... It's king's foil. It'll yeah. cure anything. Smile. 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 
basically during this phase of the world's climate shifting, a lot of ice was forming in the region, uh, glaciers are forming out of all the mountains. A really big one formed in the Mount Aspiring National Park, which is basically just north of where uh, Glenorchy is, yeah. and fed a lot of ice down through the Wankatipu, yeah. which uh, yeah, seeks out its way to the lake, up. and basically came big straight heading Good. east here, crashing like into the front of a remarkable <laughs> That's yeah. my sister yeah. for you. section of a remarkable and that's what's a uh, rocky and steep oh, there. The glacier didn't stop there though. The glacier... Okay, this is Lou's track down here. We're going to do zip lining in a, just a few minutes. The hill way up. Oh, here comes some losers. More like losers, losers, whatever. We're at the top of Queens, Queenstown right now, here in New Zealand. I'm going to take pictures again. There's a gondola coming up. going down from the uh, zip line back down to Queenstown. Here we are at Mount Cook. That's the big snow covered mountain way there in the background. And there's a big lake here too. Church of the Good Shepherd. You guys are right down the ceiling. Hi, I'm Laura. I'm Angie's neighbour, just here to help out over the summer. Yep. Hello, I'm Maya, and I'm neighbour too. So Laura is my daughter. <laughs> Thank you, girls. Yeah. That's great. So um, I made a bridge uh, from the snow. Yeah. Um, for dessert we have the pavlova recipe on our back. <laughs> <laughs> the secrets. And uh, we have a fudge slice with tea and coffee to follow away. So no one should go away hungry. Um, a selection of um, drinks. Uh, the water is safe to drink. It's our teaching. This was originally a river flat. So we Everybody. <laughs> Whoa, they're here. Hello. Uh -oh, no coffee. <laughs> He's watching them. <laughs> He's got them. Says, so don't let those sheep go where they don't supposed to be. The darker ones are the merinos. Um, all their lives, so yeah, very natural type of farming. Oh, hello. Friendly. Hello. Uh, this is a um, Angus, Angus beef. Angus beef. Um, its mother died when the, the calf was born, and of course the calf would have died, uh, would, have, you know, would have starved, so we brought it home and fed it. That's about 18 months ago, um, so now it's Quite tame. Yeah. It's a pet, yeah. It's not going. <laughs> no.